Buying and selling cards are the lifeblood and are one of the most appealing aspects of any physical trading card game. But what would happen if players only had an incredibly limited selection of cards to buy from? In this series, both Ruxin34 and myself will be bidding on sealed product from all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will have a new selection of product for us to bid on, build decks, and play a best two out of three. However, the kicker is that the items up for grabs will only be revealed to us us one at a time. You've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! played like this before, because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, as if there couldn't be another SEMO series, here we are with the legendary Ruxin34, and we are going to be starting the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction series. I don't know if that's exactly what we're going to be calling it, but in any case, this is going to be a brand new series, never been done before, and this is going to be an absolute blast. Phil, how are you feeling about this? I'm extremely excited for this. I don't know how this is going to go. We really... <laughs> Don't you didn't give me a whole lot of info. You kind of told me, yeah, all right, we're going to do this and it's going to be fun. I was like, all right, let's do this thing. So we're going to get into there and see what happens. This is really going to test our knowledge of sets, I feel. And that's, I think, what's going to give us an advantage one way or another. So basically, we have a set of 10 items that both Ruxin and myself have not seen yet. We are going to bid on these items, each with access to 100,000 Kaiba Corp dollars. And so once we bid on these items, whoever spends the most will get the item. We crack them open. It's any product ranging from, you know, booster packs to starter decks, structure decks, anything's up for grabs but we haven't seen what they are and we're not going to know what the next item on the list is until the first one gets sold after we crack everything open we're going to build some decks and duke it out in a best two out of three you ready buddy i'm ready okay let's go ahead and see item number one. Ooh. 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 starter deck yugi right out of the gate okay so there's some interesting cards in here. A lot of pretty good staples. There's a Monster Reborn. There's a Dark Hole. Uh, what else What else is in this? There's there's a lot. That is, yeah, just those two just themselves are very strong because you don't have to actually like pull them. You just get them automatically compared to like a booster pack. And then if you're, since we're probably going to have earlier sets, I, I would expect, I don't know, because we got nine more sets, but maybe even the tribute monsters matter, but... I'm trying right. I think is La Jin in here? Maybe an 1800. No, La Jin's, La Jin's oh, Kaiba. Kaiba. Oh. Yeah, that's Kaiba. Oh, it's so, Neo. Neo the Magic Swordsman. Neo the Magic Swordsman. But if there's a starter that Kaiba later, is that the better one? I, oh, I don't man. know. I can't remember like which has better staples, but I know that Kaiba has better a better beater as their top number. Right. So and that's Ooh. like, that's the hard part. Like, we don't know. So we oh, do have $100,000 yeah. to work with, but we have to bid in increments of 1000 just to clarify for the audience. So we can't do like ending a number in like four or something like that. So we do have <laughs> a set amount. This is tough. This is this is tough. Um, OK, I'm putting my bid in. I'm putting okay. my bid in. Um, let's see. What do I want to spend on this? I'm putting my bid in. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Increments of a 1000. OK. Okay. I have mine ready to go. Okay, I have mine as well. So on three, we're going to reveal them to both ourselves as well as the audience. And whoever bid the most gets the Yugi starter deck. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh no! By oh. 1,000! <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? That was so <laughs> close! Oh. Outplayed! Oh, Give me the starter me. deck. My thought oh, process was I'll pay. I, oh man, I was like, I'm gonna pay one fifth plus oh, a thousand, and you went one fifth plus <laughs> two thousand. Okay. Oh. All right, so I get the Yugi starter deck, but I am now down to $78,000 yeah. for the rest of my pool. So yeah, you're poor now. you still have a hundred grand to work with. So that gives you an advantage, oh. but I get the guaranteed starter deck Yugi. So let's go ahead and see item number two and keep things going. Ooh. Ooh. What is in here? <laughs> What is in tournament pack okay. three? Uh, Needleworm is the ultra rare. I know that. 
Okay, see, like, but... this is where your knowledge of the set can actually really pay off, you yeah. know? Because if you actually think that this is good and I don't, then, like, you might want to maybe overbid for it, or I just may let you have it, not realizing right. how... I know, like, TP1 was Mechanical Chaser, TP2 yeah. was, I'm pretty sure, Morphing Jar? Yeah, it was Morphing Jar was the Ultra. Right, yeah. so Needle Worm's the Ultra in 3. Oh, God, the interesting, yeah, TP3 actually was when they first started reprinting in tournament packs, so there's not a lot of unique cards in there. It's mostly stuff from the other tournament packs, which is kind of weird. But uh, are the reprints good? I don't remember if they're good. I can't. I have to remember <laughs> what they are. <laughs> okay, okay, um... I'll throw a bid. I'll throw up a bid. Okay. Um, let me think about this. Okay. I, I'm ready when you are, buddy. Okay. So I'm thinking about... Okay. All right. I'm going to go with... Let's see. What did I put up? Okay. You have 78 grand left. I have 100 grand. So... You do have the money advantage for right now. But okay. I felt that going a little bit high for that starter deck was pretty good. I thought... Yeah. That was a good call because it's guaranteed stuff. I, li I liked that one. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Eight grand for the tournament packs. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here's why I went eight grand. I know okay. that it's only it's only 15 cards. It's five times three cards a pack, which is not much. But I went eight grand because I know I have a hundred grand left, and there's only nine, and I want to at least make sure I win this one and not be down. That's fair. I think just because you do have the disadvantage on cards right now, right. and who knows, like you may pull crazy in those tournament packs and it may right. be worth it. So right. you get the tournament packs. Congratulations. Let's move on to item number three. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Jinzo. Oh, this oh my. and there's one of each of like the first yeah. packs in here as well. That guaranteed oh Jinzo. That's big. guaranteed Jinzo is huge. I mean, oh. we don't know what other like good traps that we may have access to yet. Right. But I mean, Jinzo is just a stellar card. I mean, yeah. Oh, that this could is like a win the whole one. the whole match just winning this. So it could. It very well could. Um. Wow. Hmm. Ooh, this is okay. 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 I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to go with. Ooh, this is so tough because they're all this so different. This is hard. They're all this so is different. hard. And um, we still have seven other items after this. The, items. Like, they're, they could get better. Yeah, that's. Okay. Okay. You got yours? Yes, I do. Okay. In three, two, one, go. Oh, 23? He yeah. wants the Jinzo. <laughs> I, I want the Jinzo. There's only a few packs in the tin, but I oh. think Jinzo may be worth yeah. paying a mm. little bit more for this. I'm yeah. not sure. Um, I was thinking maybe you'd try to go 22, and then I was going to one-up you on the 23 <laughs> right. again. So Yeah, that I think I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, it's you're basically bidding for the Jinzo right now because the Jinzo is so good. But those right. other six packs could have crazy stuff in them. It's just one of they, each, so. They could, they could. Yeah. But this also puts me at a very big disparity in terms of cash now, because I've almost used half my cash already, and right. you still have a lot. So that means you could actually bid way more on items that I may not be able to. So let's go see item number four and see if it gets better or worse. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Full, it's a full 20, booster box, all right. That's a full booster box. That's worth like 35 box. grand, so. Oh. I mean, we may be paying full oh. price, if not more, <laughs> for... <sighs> this is tough, though, because there are a lot of bad cards. There in are LOB. a lot of bad cards. And also, you already have the Dark Hole, I think. I, I think do, there's a Dark Hole. Yes, Dark Hole is uh, in Starter Deck And UD, that's so one like, of, like, five good cards. And you have Monster Reborn, right? Oh yes, my, I do. <laughs> but <laughs> you could get Raigeki. You could get Pot of Greed. Right, pot like of there's greed, a lot that's of big. that's big. There's a lot of good cards that are in 24 packs of LOB. So right, that is true. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, okay. Uh, I've got my bid. I've got my bid. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna count us down. In three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I know, to be fair, I think maybe it makes more sense for you to spend more on this because, again, I'm up on cards and you just may be needing to actually get something right. back in here. I, I need so. I need bulk from I only have like 15 cards before this. Also, right. you don't I, even have a deck. yet. I don't even have a deck. So I'm honestly I spent more on this because I'm hoping to pull like three pot of greed. And I think that that would make a huge difference. Sure. Uh, absolutely. And of course, I don't have any like dark hole, right? Yeah, stuff. So I hope to pull at least one of those. 
And you also still have the money advantage as well, which is equally as important. So I think this is item number five coming up next. Let's see it. Oh, oh it's a combo. Wow. It's a combo. A combo. Pegasus, what is in Pegasus? Graceful Charity. Graceful oh. Charity is in Pegasus. Oh, yeah. man. Peg Starter Deck Pegasus. Uh, we're actually doing this uh, very shortly, I think, in another series. And yeah, there's there's some good stuff in Starter Deck Pegasus. Also, oh. don't discount the Magic Ruler packs either. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you could pull some crazy like confiscation, M MST, Snatch all that Steel. Stuff. Snatch Steel. I mean, Delinquent any Ultra Rare is amazing. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, there's a lot. There's oh, there's so much. Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is, is this big for you too five? because th this is auction number 5. Okay. Yes. And this is big for you as well because this is your this is a chance for you to get a deck to like right. go even with me here. Right. Ooh. Ooh. The money the money's starting to the you're, money's yeah, starting to matter a bit here. Yeah, money's starting get, to matter. You're getting a little uh you're getting a little low over there. I, I'm I'm low, but honestly, like I didn't know if it's gonna get better or worse. Right. And clearly, it's getting better, <laughs> as we can see. Okay. Mm. Okay. I've got I've got my bid. I've got my bid. I'm ready. Okay. Counting down in three, two, one, go. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I okay. went big on this one. You did go big on this one. Honestly, I wanted to go big, but I think me being at a disadvantage money wise, I wanted to go right. big, but I didn't want to go crazy. So right. and congratulations. Deck, so yeah, you have a deck. You have a deck that actually has I feel a shell. Okay about so this that's pretty because good. You pay 22 for Yugi and then I got Pegasus plus five and it was only 4,000 more. So yeah. I feel good about yeah. that. Yeah. But again, it's like, I mean, we don't know. Could be better. Could be worse. Yeah, There could so. be, you know, Starter Deck Link Strike coming up. Who knows? Could, but I also have now the money advantage. So you do have the money advantage. I've got fifty-five grand to your forty-four grand. Mm -hmm. So if we maybe there's something better down the line. We'll see. We'll see. Right. Let's see item number six. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, interesting. Thirty tournament pack one. That's interesting. Okay. So, so we, we already said we got Mech Chaser for sure. Mech Chaser's good. I mean, it's a pretty solid Ooh, beater. I mean, you, you have could to play pull it. Quagar Hercules. Oh, yeah, that's like a two hundred dollar card right now. <laughs> well, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> hmm. I don't I honestly can't think of anything else good. Uh, white hole. Oh, just in case you play dark hole. I want to get my white. You could white hole my yeah, dark hole. That would be hilarious. Go. That would make for some content right there. OK. Yeah. All right. I'll 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 chuck up a bid. I'll chuck up a bid. OK, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. OK. All right. <laughs> You know, I probably should have gone that high, but <laughs> I can't believe you went that high, to be honest. <laughs> I thought you were maybe going to go after it. I don't know. The mech so chaser, I'll if take you him. pull the mech chaser, it's good. Yes. Uh, and with I also sold the money advantage as well, which is why right, I went for it. Right. And that the randomizer seems like it's not the real ratios, which is one in 108. So I, I think you got a better chance to pull that thing. Possible. I mean, I could pull multiple mech chasers. 30 yeah, packs is 30 is a lot. If it was like a lot. 10, if it was 10, maybe I wouldn't feel as good. But I, right. I, I'd roll the dice. OK, uh, item number seven, I think we're on. Oh, Three, no. 2002 tins. With red eyes, summon skull, and black oh. skull dragon. Wow. I'm really hating myself for these early bits okay. now. I guess because there's... Yeah, so summon skull is the only good promo, I guess. But And wait. I already have a summon skull because I have the Yugi starter deck. Ooh, and I've got 24 packs of LOB. So you Fusion, could get polymerization. one. Yeah, but I also have a Jinzo as well. So, hmm. Yeah. This is interesting. We this also can't discount the fact that this is like 15 packs, right? 18 packs. Six, right? Uh, 18 packs. Right, yeah. but it's it's only LOB through Magic Ruler. Yeah, it's two LOB, these? two uh, MRD, MRL. Yeah. Okay, and we're on item seven. So we still have three more items to go after this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm just I, so worried. The last one's going to be like seven booster boxes or something. <laughs> Right? Like, I'm I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Okay. I... That's a lot. That's a lot. I got a bid. I got a bid. I got a bid. Okay. Oh, man. This is this is a hard one. This is, this is a hard this, one. This, this might is be the a hardest hard one. one yet. Yeah, this is a hard one for sure. Oh, man. What? All right. I'm ready. You got a bid? Uh-huh. Okay. I think this is going to be a very interesting one for this sure. Is. Three... Two, one, go. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. I overbid a little bit. I overbid a little bit, but I, honestly, I, I respect it. There's a lot of packs in here, and mm -hmm. so I want to have some access to some more cards. I was mainly eyeing like the Metal Raider and the Magic Ruler packs here, so right. I think it was worth me paying a little bit more. So that's item number seven. Let's go ahead and see item number eight now to see what is next. Ooh. Ooh. Magician's Force. Okay. Okay, moving a bit forward in the timeline here. Yeah, we Ten hopped up there. Magicians. Yeah, a little bit. It's wow. not too far ahead, but it's, oh, it's a no. little bit. Diffusion mm. wave motion. <laughs> Magician's Force has some interesting commons in it, for sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. <laughs> okay, so um, this is auction number eight. This okay. is auction number we eight. Got three yes. more. Hmm. Wow, this is a tough one. Only 10 packs. Only 10. I know from doing Sealed Showdown, like there there are some pretty worthy cards that make this set desirable, but this is tough. This this mm. this is very tough. This, this is it's a, a tough low one. amount of packs, but there is some good stuff in there. Yeah, and especially at low rarity as well, right. which is yeah, and, a, and lot a lot of the stuff we've had up until this point has been, you know, early set cards. And right. so these Magician's Force packs could be deceptively good. Right. Okay. Um. I I got a bid. I got a bid. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, all right. Okay. okay. I, okay. I upped my bid at the last second, so I had it at eight, and I was like, let's go nine. <laughs> okay. Now, this is interesting, though, because now that you made that bid, uh, you're still ahead in money, but just barely. barely. Just barely. You it's only even have now. 2K over me at this point. I'm at 33,000. You are at 35,000. So. Yeah. Two items left, and uh, we still have some pretty healthy cash stacks. Now, yeah. what's interesting is whoever has the most cash at the end of this next auction automatically wins the last item. Right. So we could go crazy for this. Uh, you know, who knows? Yeah. Item nine. Let's see it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Six Legacy of Darkness, six Dark Crisis, six Labyrinth of Nightmare. Oh, man. Okay, I'm happy I didn't bid as much on the Magician's Force packs now. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. Because <laughs> this is 18 packs. This is a yeah. lot more. It's a variety too, so you could have some a lot of different stuff in there. Right. All right. But then again, like, do you want to overbid on this? Because yeah, is the, the last, last item the is the last item the best item we've seen so far? That, we don't know. That's true. Hmm. I've got a bid. You've got a bit. You got it first this time. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, I'm I'm stumped on this one. I'll be honest. Like, we're playing with some big numbers here. So, I mean... <sighs> Could be anything like from 1,000 to 35,000. Who knows? I know. Like, it, honestly, it doesn't matter what you bid at this point. You could just bid... If you want this bad enough, you could bid everything to ensure well, I don't get I it. I might as well. Like, because if I'm lower than you, then you automatically win the next one anyway. Right. So it depends if you value this enough versus what I think the last one will be. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm in. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> You're gonna get the last one anyway, I so I decided to just go bid. <laughs> okay, so I get these packs. Ooh, now item I'm ten. You're the reveal. You're automatically gonna get it because you have the most money. So let's see what it is. Suspense. I definitely waited. I definitely wasted a lot of money here. I feel like. <laughs> I think we both wasted a lot of money. I right. immediately have regrets doing this. I want to do this again, but that's okay. All right, item ten. Please be bad. Please be bad. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Wait, oh, second wave. So what's in there? Acid Trap Hole's not bad. Acid Trap Hole's oh, actually pretty decent. I thought it was blue eyes, dark. Okay, I read. I didn't read the second wave part. It's okay. still not good, but it's better than I thought. <laughs> I was about to say Acid Trap Hole's playable. I would Acid say. Acid Trap Hole's good. What's Salamandra do again? Is it that, gives like a warrior like 700 oh, attack, I think. It's that specific might not be, like that. Honestly, that could be playable in our format. A Let's, fire oh, it's a, monster. A fire monster. Oh. oh, that's 
maybe more or less playable depending on oh, what we do. Okay. Okay. That well, was, you made the right choice winning that last one. <laughs> evidently, evidently. That was an interesting one. Uh, okay. Well, buddy, you and I've got some product to open, so I will talk with you very soon. Okay. The first thing we got here was tournament pack three. So what did I pay for this? I paid like eight grand or something for five packs. That was probably a bad decision, but let's see. We only have five packs of this set, so we don't have a lot of chances, but Pot of Greed being common, let's see if we can get one. Spirit of the Harp, there's one we're looking for, 2,000 Defender, that's not bad. Everything else kind of garbage. Pot of Greed, there it is. Awesome, we got a Pot of Greed. That's the best card we could ask for in this set. Another Spirit, that's the exact same as our first pack. And the final pack of TP3, we've still got a lot to go. We've got a Pot of Greed and a two Spirit of the Heart, so not bad. And another Garbage Pack, so not bad overall. We'll take that Pot of Greed. All right, you guys, we have a lot to get into on the pack opening front. So first up, we got a Starter Deck Yugi that we heavily overpaid for in retrospect. But to be fair, I didn't know like what the baseline was for anything, so it's fine. I wanted to get a few good cards out of here. Summon Skull is one of the best ones we could get. We've got a few decent attackers and defenders. Giant soldier of stone is okay great white 1600 dragon zombie 1600 dark hole was one of the reasons i really wanted to get this deck but there was another deck that had it as well unfortunately fisher trap hole these are all fantastic monster reborn and change of heart are also huge so happy to see those wall of illusions annoying neo the magic swordsman last will could actually be very relevant waboku um man eater bug was the other one i was like i know there's one other card in here so that's it for starter deck yugi there's some pretty decent cards in here so i actually don't feel bad spending 25 grand grand on this next up we have the very first set legend of blue eyes you guys have seen if you've seen all of Simo's other videos you've seen this multiple times the very first episode always has lob 24 packs a booster box of lob let's see what we can get pot of greed on the first pack this is a good start and a man eater bug incredible pack i mean there's not there's probably 10 good cards in this set we pulled two of them with the first pack that's incredible oh no we got exodia are we actually gonna have to play exodia the forbidden one unbelievable do we have anything else good in this pack of course silver fang fantastic okay not really but armed ninja not a terrible card it is spell removal only i don't think it's trap removal it's just spell removal maybe we'll consider playing it probably not that great oh third pot of greed we are playing with a play set we're going to be turboing through this deck guys giant soldier stone it's not a bad it's a is it 1300 attack 2000 defense it's actually pretty good Two-pronged attack. Okay, there's one we may use. We don't want to because it's a three-for-one. Not not a good trade. I mean, if you know anything about dueling, not good. Guy the Dragon Champion. <laughs> Secret rare. So we have an Exodia the Forbidden One and a Guy the Dragon Champion. Two cards that we cannot use right now. I mean, technically, we could summon Exodia, but... Aquamanor, another 2k defender. That's pretty strong. We have several of those now. We have... Giant Soldier Stone, Aquamador, too hard. Okay, so next up, we have all the cards from the 2003 tin that we won. We get a copy of Jinzo guaranteed, which could actually be relevant, but let's go ahead and open our packs. We get one of each from Legend of Blue Eyes all the way to Labyrinth of Nightmare. So that's a Legend of Blue Eyes, a Metal Raiders, a Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, and Labyrinth of Nightmare. So there's a lot there. Flip up pack number one. Aquamador is a 2K defender, so honestly, not too bad of an LOB pack. For Metal Raiders, let's see if we get anything good. We got a fucking gate guardian that's unfortunate we can't actually play that paralyzing potion is actually very playable though prevent rat robin goblin those are pretty cool magic ruler let's see if we get anything good in this one uh horn of the unicorn and dark zebra both of these are also very good cards these will probably make their way in pharaoh servant is up next let's see if there's anything good here um not too much skull mariner and overdriver like 1600 so maybe they're a little bit better than some of the stuff in the yugi deck and then labyrinth of nightmare rounding out the 2003 10 can we get anything good fairy box is actually hysterical uh earthbound spirit a couple of okay cards but let's go ahead and move on to 30 packs of tournament pack one a fourth pot of greed okay this luck is insane we're pulling three we've pulled three rare pot of greed in 13 packs and we already have another one so too bad we can't play four. Maybe we'll sell it to Zemo for next auction or something. Oh, a Hain Hain. Okay, that's a good one. We're probably definitely going to be playing that. Probably definitely. Fusionist. Okay, Skull Red Bird would be good if it was just LOB format, but there's tons of other stuff that beats over it. Another Hain Hain. Very good. We got the Flame Swords, and we're getting all the wrong foils right now. All the wrong foils. That's not good. And I'm not trying to force that 1800. Red Eyes Flagged Right. This would be an incredible opening in real life, but in uh dueling scenario, it's terrible. Red Eyes is not good. And uh, I think we actually, do we already have that? No, he got red eyes. Oh, a fifth pot of greed. That's fourth, I guess, from this opening, but that's insane how many pot of greed. Like, that's just a rare. Stop taking our spot, pot of greed. Okay, one more pack. Final pack of LOB. Let's see. 
Oof, that's a dud. Okay, overall, pretty good opening. We ended up with three pot of greed, a ton of 2k defenders. We got a couple of hay name. We got a main eater bug. Our first pack was by far our best pack. Okay, 30 packs of tournament pack one. I gotta be honest, there's not a lot of good stuff in here, so we're probably gonna fly through these. If we get mechanical chaser, we'll definitely stop there, but let's flip up the first one and see. Not that great. Okay, White Hole coming in at Super Rare may actually be playable. We did talk about this in the auction portion, but Ruxin is going to be on Dark Hole, so if we could actually counteract the Dark Hole with this, that could be pretty funny. All right, we're halfway through. We haven't really gotten anything else worth noting, so let's keep it going and hope for the best. Oh, we got it. We got the mechanical chaser. Holy shit. That's so good. 1850 on a normal summon. It still can't clear a 2k defender, which kind of sucks. But to be fair, this is one of the best monsters probably throughout all of the pulls that were possible. So super happy to see it. We still got 13 packs left. Maybe we can pull another one. Ooh, Axe Raider coming in the super rare slot. It's not mechanical chaser, but it's a 1700 normal summon. I'll take it. Only a few more tournament pack ones. Like I said, we blitz through these because most of them are just going to be redundant garbage. Let's go ahead and flip them up. Please give us a second mechanical chaser. That would be so sick. Oh, two more packs, please, please, please. One more. Can we get something good in the close? Ah, uh, that's okay. Well, we got the mechanical chaser, white hole and axe raider. That's actually pretty good. Those are probably going to go in the deck. The next one we won was Star Deck Pegasus as well as five Magic Ruler or Spell Ruler packs. So we're going to go over what we get in SDP, which is probably one of our best wins. There's a ton of decent cards in here, so let's see what they are. First of all, we have a Relinquished, which I mean, we have to play this. It's a one. It's a level one tribute. So I, it, we get the equip spell or the ritual. We get the ritual spell in here and we just have to sacrifice a level one monster. We get our Relinquish out, which is extremely strong. So we're definitely going to be playing this. We, we get another copy of Giant Soldier of Stone and Aquamador, so that's going to add in if we want to play a lot of 2k defenders. We might want to stall just for our Relinquish and just steal his big guy, like maybe his Genzo. If he locks us out, we just summon Relinquish and suck it up, and then we're good to go. Ooh, another Hain Hain. We could play three Hain Hain. We could kind of play a stall strategy where we have 2k defenders and just bouncing his guys back, destroying his monsters with Maneater Bug and Hain Hain. But, but our win condition would have to be relinquished. We'll have to think about that. We do have a Sonic Bird here, which is very nice. We can get another copy of this in the Magic Ruler pack. So it'd be very nice if we get multiples so we can search out that uh, ritual spell for the Black Lusion ritual. Okay, next we're going to be opening our three 2002 collector tins. That is a Red Eyes Summon Skull and Black Skull Dragon. We get six LOB packs, six Metal Raiders packs, and three Magic Ruler packs. So first pack in LOB, flip it up. Nothing too much to discuss. I really just want to get Pot of Greed, Raigeki. There's so many good cards in here, but there's a lot of bad cards as well. Stop Defense is a very strong card with the 2K Defenders being in this format, so really happy to see that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. Anything good? Not really. Skull Red birds like an okay beater that could replace maybe something else spirit of the harp is a strong 2k defender as well so really happy to see that anything else in our fifth pack uh it doesn't really look like it we've got some field spells some burn cards your typical lob selections and for the last one nothing too great in lob a couple of okay cards let's go ahead and move on to metal raiders which of the black force is obviously insane that's going to be in it's an auto include another man eater yeah we we might have to go with a stall strategy and just destroy his stuff and Ooh, a Mooka Mooka. That could be interesting. A oh, Dream Clown's in here. Is this... Oh, wow. This might be... This might be stall strategy, guys. And we, we just uh, use our Dream Clowns and Man Eater Bugs to destroy stuff. Dark Hole, I forgot. I kind of forgot was in here. That's a really good one. Uh, another Fissure. Did we even get a Fissure in LOB? I don't think we did. So it's a good thing that we got this. Wow, we didn't get a single Fissure. I forgot about Change of Heart. That is huge. We're going to be stealing monsters with Relinquished and Change of Heart. Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh, there's so many good cards in this deck. I'm so glad we paid 26,000 for this. Monster Reborn. Oh, guys, there's actually so many good cards that we can play right now. I don't, it's gonna be a tough decision to see what we cut out. Black Lizard Ritual Auto include with our Relinquish, Graceful Charity. We have Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. Okay, deck out is not an option because we're decking ourselves out. Wabaku is very good. We, we definitely play Wabaku. That's an extremely good card. No battle damage for the entire turn. Okay, so SDP is absolutely nuts. That's going to be like the core of our deck is mostly stuff from SDP. Okay, Metal Raiders, six packs of this coming up now. Paralyzing Potion, Seven Colored Fish, and Dream Clown. Prevent Rat as well. This is a very, very good pack. Garnesia Elephant is coming in at Super, but our Summon Skull and Jinzo are just infinitely better than this. This pack's a bit of a dud. Oh, Sangan and Jirai Gumo. Both of these are incredibly good. Also, Seven Colored Fish again. Two Seven Colored Fish in three packs. Not bad. Are you... <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Really? You're going to give me a gate guardian again? I hate this game so much. Oh my God. Unbelievable. We have five packs of this set, so we could pull another blue eyes tune. Like if we pulled multiple blue eyes tune, do we have to play it? If we pull another tune world, if we have, if we pull tune world out of here, and we have two copies. We might play that. That would actually be crazy because you just attack directly. All right, five packs. I'll see what we can get here. Okay, Horn of the Unicorn, decent card. Maybe we'll play it. Uh, Turtle Oath is big. If we can pull a Crab Turtle, that'd be huge. Oh, Hungry Burger. Okay, now we need a, a Burger Ritual. Okay, come on. If we could get both of those, that'd be insane. We could play three sets of Rituals. Okay, Toll is extremely annoying. Uh, maybe we want to get annoying and play that. I don't know. I don't know if we want to do that in the first episode or not. Ooh, okay. I don't know if we got much out of those. It, they they kind of just went back and forth. We got a couple of quips that'll definitely be playable. Unfortunately, no rituals to add to our strategy. All right, and this is going to wrap up Metal Raiders. Let's see if we get anything good. Wow, Dark Elf and Stim Pack. Both of these cards are very, very strong. We've got three packs of Magic Ruler to open up as well to round out our 2002 tins. Pack number one, there's a Horn of the Unicorn. Really happy to see this. And Maha Vilo talk about a hit these two cards in tandem are deadly and so happy to see this we do need some more equip spells though let's go to the second pack see if we get anything good there is uh not too much to talk about here. Nimble Momongo would be fun if we actually had more copies of it, but unfortunately, that's not the case. This is our last pack, so let's go ahead and flip it up, see if we get anything good. Cyber Jar! Cyber Jar, so good! Whiptail Crow and High Tide Gyojin are good beaters as well. We've got a lot to work with. Next, we won 10 packs of MFC. This is not a ton of Magician's Force packs, but there's some pretty good commons and rares in here that we want to look into and potentially pull. 10 packs of Magician's Force. Let's see some burn stall stuff. Okay, we did get the Big Bang. Adhesion Trap Hole. That's good. That ooh, the Fusion Wave Motion. We're playing burn <laughs> stall, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, and so wrapping up our opening segment, we've got six packs of Legacy of Darkness, Dark Crisis, and Labyrinth of Nightmare. The polls have been pretty good so far. I'm sure Ruxins have probably been infinitely better considering he got much better cards, but let's see what we get in our first one. Some interesting cards in here. Lesser Fiend would be nice, but we already have the Summon Skulls and the Jinzo. Blast with Chains, actually a very, very strong card, so I'm happy to see this. Ryukishin Clown is interesting. It can switch cards, battle positions, so maybe this comes up. It's kind of week though. Dragon Dwelling in the Cave is a 2k defender, so let's go ahead and go to our last pack here, see if we can get anything good in the close. Didn't really look like it. I think Legacy of Darkness was actually a bit of a disappointment. We've got six packs of Dark Crisis though, so let's get into it. Okay, the Z Metal Tag Giant or Kaiser Coliseum. We're playing it, guys. We're playing Kaiser Coliseum Diffusion Wave Motion. You guys are gonna hate me already, episode one. Ooh, okay, Spellbook Organization. Um, okay, nothing crazy here. Oh, I actually did. I just saw a skilled white magician. I somehow missed that. That's actually pretty good. 1900, 1700, or 1700, 1900. Maybe we'll play it. Okay, we have Sonic Duck, big body, Kaiser Coliseum number two. Oh my goodness. Is there any ban list in this? I probably need to ask. I don't think there is. Ooh, magical And <laughs> XYZ Dragon Cannon. I don't think you can special summon that one with magical sign. Or maybe you can. I need to figure that out. A diffusion wave motion number two and a dark paladin. Oh, this is going to be a nasty deck. Does he have a heavy storm? I can't remember. Does he have anything like that? Heavy storm? He probably has MST. Okay, dark core. That's probably pretty good. We'll probably play that. Uh, Great Angus. Another. We've got like a play set of those. One more pack. This has been crazy. These 10 packs have been really good. Okay, wait. So we got a rivalry. Oh, rivalry of the warlords is pretty good too. Rivalry. That could be like another Kaiser Coliseum. That could be like our third, third copy. It's a little bit. Is it better or worse? I don't know. It it works without a monster of the field, so maybe that's better. But it's also, uh, he could summon different types or whatever. Flip them up. Let's... Oh, Vampire Lord. What is it with us getting all these crazy tribute monsters? That's so good. Also, Gaga Gigo. That's an 1850 normal summon. Not going to complain. This is looking nice. Berserk Dragon. That's actually really funny. I don't think we can conceivably summon this, but if we could, it would be very funny. Ooh, Archfiend Soldier, Gaga Giko. A lot of these are just really outclassing a lot of the beaters that we have access to currently. I'm not complaining. And another Gaga Giko. I think that's a full playset in six packs. I mean, sure, I'll take it. The last pack wrapping up Dark Crisis, a second Archfiend Soldier. Also, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu to search some of these equip spells we've gotten is pretty good. So we're done opening packs, but we do have our two copies of the second wave of DDS, which at first I thought was these three. 
I was gonna be very sad. This is actually a little better. Ciaru is not playable. It's 2,500 seven star. We're obviously not gonna play that. Adds a trap hole. Target one face down defense position monster on the field. Flip it face up and then destroy it if its defense is 2,000 or less. Actually okay. So if he sets like a man eater bug or something, we flip up as a trap hole. We hit it. It's less than 2K. We destroy it. I don't. Does it? It probably gets its effect though. So it's really not that good. Uh, and Salamandra, just a Fire Monster 700. These are basically the worst $35,000 you could ever spend, even if it's fake Monopoly money. Okay, and then wrapping up the pack opening, we have six packs of Labyrinth of Nightmare. We've had a lot to go through, so we've been churning it. Uh, this first pack doesn't really have a lot to discuss. Zombire of the Dark is actually pretty kick-ass. It's 2100 attack. That can be pretty formidable in a format like this. Mask of Weakness is a nice battle trick. Really happy to see this. There's Diffusion. If we were ever fusion summoning in this series, that would be fantastic. I guess we have the counter for it, though. Hysteric Fairies in 1800, not going to complain about that. And for our last pack before we have to get into the deck building, anything good in the close? Uh, I guess we got a Fusion Gate. I guess that technically means Black Skull Dragon is online, but that seems very optimistic, so I'm not sure about that one. Overall, we got a lot of really good cards, so let's go ahead and throw all these in the dueling book and see what we can come up with. Here's the deck. Yeah, it's burn control. You guys, some of you guys are going to hate me, but this should be a lot of fun. I think this is going to be a really strong deck in this duel if he goes with an aggressive strategy. So what we kind of have here, we have Relinquish, which is obviously just a must play. It's a very good card. It can become huge if he summons Jinzo or Summon Skull. We just summon this guy out. We take his Jinzo. We take his Summon Skull. We're 25, 2400. We also have a Sonic Bird. This is going to be very helpful for searching out that Black Illusion Ritual. I'm only playing one. I think I have two, but I'm only playing one because the Relinquished, there's only one. That's the only ritual. So we really don't need to search more than one ritual spell. Then we've got our seven 2K defenders. These are going to be vital for us to win this. We set a 2K defender. We play Chorus of Sanctuary and Kaiser Coliseum. Almost an unbreakable lock unless he plays like Fissure, Dark Hole, uh, something like that. Or he has an equip spell to get over us. Then we have Skilled White Magician, another big boy that was 1700 attack, 1900 defense. So he's a 2400 with Chorus of Sanctuary. He can also do a little bit of damage attacking. We have a Dream Clown. It's probably not going to come up because we don't have a lot of ways to protect him, but he can switch to defense mode and destroy monsters. So that's pretty decent if we ever get to get it off. Witch of Black Forest can search the Relinquish. It can search any of our uh, Old Vindictive, our Hain Hains, or our Man Eater Bugs. Those are all going to be good. Old Vindictive and Man Eater Bug just destroy a monster, which is obviously good for controlling the control strategy. And then, of course, Hain Hain. These are mostly for his Tribute Summon. So if he gets a Tribute Summon out, we flip him up. Also, another situation. We have Kaiser Coliseum on the field. He's got two monsters down. We've got two. We flip one up, send it back. He can now only summon one if we, let's say, Mass Driver or something, our Hain Hain off the field so he, can, he can't summon that card again. Then we get into the spells. These are the most important part of the deck. The two-wave motion cannon. These win us the game if he has no way to remove it. Eight turns, game's over. Very strong card. Kaiser Coliseum, we pulled two of them out of 10 packs. Insanely good because if we just set one card, he can only summon one card until he outs it, which is very, very good because he'll just be sitting there waiting for his tribute summons. And if we have Quartz and Sanctuary on the field, not even they can get over it. Three Pot Agreed, that basically wins this game. Graceful Charity, I mean, we don't even need to explain how good this is. Fissure. Obviously, if we're wanting to remove something and get it to a one monster field with Kaiser Coliseum, it's very good. It's also good for getting rid of Genzo, getting rid of Summon Skull. Very good cards. Dark Hole can destroy all the cards. Very good if we want to clear the board. Obviously, it's an incredible card. Monster Reborn is going to be really good if, let's say, he destroys our Relinquished. Or if he loses his Genzo and Summon Skull, we bring one of those back. Attack. Maybe we want a Monster Reborn and Mass Driver and get another 400 damage. Something like that. Change of heart is incredible, obviously, for multiple reasons. One, we can change of heart as guy and attack per game. We can change of heart as guy and attack into his own guy and make him lose his guy. You know, stuff like that. A lot of strong plays. We have a mystical space typhoon. Very good for just destroying his back row, which I don't know if he's going to have great back row or not. It's hard to know with so many different sets he could have. Black Loser Ritual for the Relinquished. These course of Sanctuary add 500 for every defensive monster on the field. So we have 2,500 four-star defenders. Insane. Mass Driver, we're only playing one because if you play two, it's very bricky because you have to tribute a monster and it's just not good if you don't have the advantage. It's really good for just ending the game. Then we have Adhesion Trap Bolt. This is actually a very good card. If he's playing in a Kaiser Coliseum, let's say we bounce one with Hain Hain and he thinks he can just summon equip and equip spell and he's going to get over us. If we Adhesion Trap Hole, he's got half his attack and that's his only monster on the field. So it's a pretty good card. Secret Barrel is another good burn card. These are going to be slow games if we're doing well. And if they're slow, that means that he is going to have a ton of cards in his hand and a ton of cards on the field. We just flip this up, do a ton of damage, and keep going. Rivalry of the Warlords. Each player can control one type of monster. Send all mo other monsters they control the graveyard. Insanely good. So it's like another Kaiser Coliseum, except you can flip it up when they summon a card. 
Then we have a uh, Wabaku, very good, just stops a battle phase essentially. So if he's going to get over one of our guys with a Wabaku, we're good to go. Chain of Javelin is probably the worst card in the deck, but it is somewhat of a stall card. Gains us life points, and if he attacks directly, we just basically take no damage. Hidden Spellbook will get us back our very good spells if, let's say, he has an MST and he MSTs our Wave Motion or something, and we're out of Wave Motion, we need to grab him back to the deck. So this could save us in that regard. In the side deck, our idea is to go uh, aggressive. If it doesn't go well with the stall, maybe we go aggressive. We put in three 1800s. Karate Man can be 2K. He's not very good, but he can be 2K and out somebody big. We also have the uh, Magical Scientist, which is incredibly good, but we just have no targets. The best payoff is a Metal Dragon at 1850, just not very good. Horn of the Unicorn could be good if we go aggressive. It's a very good equip card. We only have like a couple of equips, which is this and Black Pendant. Then we have these seven tools in case he's on big traps and we're being aggressive. You know, like maybe he pulled a Mirror Force or even something else that could beat us. We want to do that. We have a Robin Goblin, which is another good card if we're going aggressive, but we're not right now. So we're going to save that for the side. Magic Jammer, if he does have something really good, like a Magic card that can beat us, throw in the Magic Jammer and that could stop it. Uh, a couple rush if we do aggressive and then autonomous action units another monster reborn but it costs 1500 life points so maybe we play this maybe we don't side and then of course the extra deck is all fusions that are not very good but we probably won't play unless we side in magical scientist that's the deck let's see what we can do with it in our very first episode against alex all right you guys so this is the deck we are bringing to today's duel after scraping through all the different packs that we opened this is what we were able to assemble i'm kind of disappointed axe raider didn't make the final cut but i think that's also a good thing because that means we pulled monsters that were actually better than him uh let's just quickly go through cyber jar is just a board wipe which is amazing this will accelerate the pace of the game significantly dark elf's a 2k attacker that costs a thousand life points but whatever dark zebra is just 1800 jinzo i think is huge there are a lot of traps that we could have pulled so i think having this Jinzo may give us an edge. Jirai Gumo is a very scary card, but I think being a 2200 wall at the very least is pretty good. Man Eater Bugs removal. Sangay can search half our deck. Vampire Lord may be unkillable in this format. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Wall of Illusion is just a great defender because it bounces the card back. Zombira is a fantastic 2100 attacker. He gets weaker over time, but that's fine. Two seven colored fish coming in at 18. A Aquamador with the 2k defense. Two Archfiend Soldier, 1900 attack level four. Fantastic to see that. Pair with the three Gaga Gigo at 1850. Dark Crisis was very good to us. We've got the Stone Soldier, the Mechanical Chaser, which I was super hyped about, but it's funny we actually got cards that are better than it. Who knew? Summon Skull and a Dragon Dwelling in the Cave for another 2k Defender. For the spells, Change of Heart, Dark Hole, Fisher, Horn of the Unicorn, I figure is just good for going over the top. Monster Reborn, Double Paralyzing Potion. There's not a ton of removal, so just being able to stop his monsters from attacking is pretty good. We've got a Stim Pack, of course, and a Stop Defense, and then for the traps, Blast with Chain is just a 500 attack battle trick fairy box is disgusting i hope we get to pull this off mask of weakness reduces a monster by 700 reinforcements gives our monster 500 so these aren't removal but they can be in most instances two copies of robin goblin if we can start using this to rip apart ruxin's hand it is going to be game over a trap hole of course for removal waboku to protect our cards and white hole i gotta be honest if we resolve this, I think we win no matter what happens. That would just be the best case scenario. I got a bunch of stuff here in the side deck in case I see it may come up. It's mainly just the other cards that I was considering putting in the deck, but just didn't make the final cut at the end. It could matter, but I'll evaluate and see where it goes. Guys, I am so excited for this. This is going to be a blast. I can't wait to see what Ruxin brought because if my deck looks like this, his could look vastly different based on the polls that he got from his auction. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Buddy, after what seemed to be an eternity, here we finally are across from one another to duel. How are you feeling? This is a very, very hype series. I feel like this can go in a myriad of different directions. How, how do you feel about everything? The question is, how are you going to feel after you see this deck? That's the real uh, question. Honest, I was thinking about this and I'm probably screwed here considering you have potentially multiple pots of greed. You have graceful charity. I don't know about the rest of your cards is the question <laughs> because there is a big RNG component, right? There so, is a very big one, yes. So like, yeah, if you draw a million cards, but if they're all bad, then okay, well, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a mixed bag. What do you think? You have so many different packs. Like I have no idea what you're going to be playing. Same. I, I, I like that's what I mean. This could go any direction. I, I, I was trying to like, okay, what's he going to be playing? I was like, I'm just going to look at the starter deck, Yuki. That's about all I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, I'm excited to see what you brought. Let's go ahead and get to it. I will shout out the patron is Nick Hook. Thank you for the support. If you guys want early one day access to all of these series, just be sure to become a patron. 
What do you got, buddy? What are you doing for the rock, paper, scissors? Ah, Damn. All right, let's go. Was it meant to be? Was it meant to be? Uh, I imagine you're going to go first. That seems to be, you know, probably yeah. the best thing you could do. I'll take that extra card for sure. All right, triple pot of greed and the graceful charity. Let's see it. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Make sure you draw for turn. You don't want to yeah, forget. Otherwise, want to the forget comments that. will annihilate you. That you definitely don't want to forget that. Oh, this is a very, it's a very interesting start. Got an eight card fusion. Oh, great. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Let's see it. Eight card fusion deck. You better watch out. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a tough decision, actually. Oh, tough decision with Graceful Charity in my deck. Oh, yeah, it's a really tough draw three. Well, this one's definitely going to the graveyard. OK, um, on the Enchanted Javelin. Yeah, love it. yeah. One of my best cards. I think I'm going to send this guy. Oh, this, this is not easy. Dream Clown. OK, all right. And then I'm going to I'm going to set one and then I'm going to set two. OK, and then I'm going to. End. All right, we'll draw. You got anything in standby for me? I have nothing. Okay, we're gonna main one. Uh, mm, what do we want to do? I I like your move, so I think I'll do something similar. I'll just go ahead, just set one. I'm not gonna set a back row. Go ahead. Oh, you're not scared? Okay. All right, I see how no, it is. Not it's really fine. worried. Okay, stand by main. If you OTK me in this format, you know, <laughs> go for it. I would love to if see. If I it. OTK you, that would be very fun. I'm going to I'm gonna set another card. I'm just gonna end my turn. Okay, nice slow game we got going on. Uh, I will one. set another card, but I will set it to my monster zone. Go ahead. Okay, okay. You want to set another one? You going to make the first move? Stand by main. Let's go. I think I'm going to make the... F Should I? No, I don't think I'm going to make the first move, actually. I think I'm going to let you make the first move. I'm going to set another card in my turn. All right, we'll draw. Uh, we'll go to main one. Thrilling gameplay so far. Thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Uh, so I'm going to flip up this Maneater bug. Okay. Let's take out this set. I feel uh, like you led with this, so you probably really want this to, yeah, to me that, for to run into it. That's a good one. Oh, out of your Magician's yeah. Force packs. We got okay. some stuff out of there. Yeah, sure. Uh, then let's go ahead and bring out a seven colored Ooh, fish. Ooh, you're on the big guy. I got a big guy. Yeah, let's hit in. Let's see if it'll connect. All right. I'm going to flip summon my uh, Maneater bug. Now what are you going to take out? set card. Okay, it was my Aqua Madur, so not too bad. Not too bad. I'll hit for 450 while I'm at it. All right, I'll, I'll take the 450. Okay, and then second main, I've got a back row for you, and I'll pass it over. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, standby main. I'm going to activate Pot of Greed. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. There's one. Let's have the pot of greed counter, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, pot of greed counter. Just just get it ready. I hope you deck yourself by the end of this. That would be no, a fitting I, I way for the first episode. I was episode. considering that. It, you know, it could happen. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, there's so uh, a lot of options here. There's a lot of options here. There's a lot. Yeah. Ooh. I think I'm going to set a monster. Okay. And I'm going to set a back row and i'm gonna end my three turn. back row three that's back pretty row. scary that's right all right go to main one wait can i activate something in standby yeah go ahead what do you got in standby i've got secret barrel you're just gonna burn me okay i'm gonna burn you okay. for what is that eight cards uh this is eight yeah it is hand and field right. so eight times two is 1600 are you like legit playing burn or <laughs> am i maybe i'm just uh i don't know maybe just maybe. Playing secret barrel. that's a lot of damage right there it's not, you know, in formats like this, I've learned to respect a card like Secret Barrel. You gotta Barrel. respect like, the 1600 life damage. A bit. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and run out another seven colored fish. Ooh, yeah, okay, You're, you've got some big ones. They're swimming, they're swimming. Let's swim into this monster and see if we can hit. I'll flip up okay. my Aqua Medor. It's Medor. Do I want to do something about this? Do I you? think I do. So in the damage step, I'm going to activate Blast with Chain, Blast? targeting my seven colored fish. Okay. In the damage So this will step. give my yeah. fish 500 attack, right. putting them at 23. 23. Okay, that's pretty scary, actually. So this. Do is you gonna... have anything I have else nothing. you want? Oh, no. I got nothing. Nothing. That's gone. All right. Uh, I kind of want to hit with this Maneater bug. I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah, go <laughs> hit with the Maneater bug. So 450 and then 18. I'll take it. And I'm chilling. Uh, I'll just pass it to you, buddy. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. I really like this. Let me read Blast with Chain. Is there anything crazy? Destroyed by a card effect. Target one card in the field. Destroy. Okay. Stand by main. I am going to... I've got a few options here. I think that I'm going to activate 
change of heart. Shit. All right, I have a guess what you're going to take. You want the man-eater bug, right? I <laughs> I will take that <laughs> one. Thank you very much. Then yeah, that's a graveyard. Yeah. Let's see, do I want to do anything else? I don't think so. Let's go into battle. Okay. And I'm going to attack a near man-eater bug. Uh, this is going to be a big hit. So 2300 minus 450. Oh, 1850 God, math. Right 1850, there. Yeah. I think that is. That's a that's a big hit, especially because I just got secret barrel. That's too. a big okay. chunk. Okay, I'm going to sure. go to main two. You're going to sack? This is where I'm going to activate Black Illusion Ritual. <laughs> I'm going to send your card to the graveyard. Oh, my God. I'm going to yep. special summon my relinquished. Holy and fuck. I would like your seven colored fish as well, if you don't mind. I bet you would, buddy. I bet you would. <laughs> you can take it. Move it over to your spell and trap zone. Yeah. You you earned it. You earned it. Okay, so now we're at, at 1800 beater right now. And I think I'm content just sitting on that right now. So I'm going to I'm going to end my turn. My whole board just got turned upside down. <laughs> Unbelievable. OK, main phase one. I am going to Fisher this relinquish. Ooh, Let's that, get him out of here. That is good. Oh, that just yeah. gets rid of him, too, doesn't it? It does. Relinquish only oh, protects in battle, that's, thankfully. Oh, it hurts. And we're going to bring out a Archfiend soldier. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, Dark Crisis was pretty good to me. We'll try to swing for 19 here. Um, I will take the 19. Okay, and if you have nothing else, I'll just throw it over to you, buddy. Right. Okay. I think I have one move here that I need to do. Okay. I don't know if it beats real. Shh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. What do you bring it back? Let's go. The boy. You brought me a juicy 1900 monster. Uh, fine. Fine. Oh, fine, fine. Thank fine. you very much. Now, if I just uh, go to battle, I'll go I'll attack you 19. for 1900. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting keeping that man eater bug in attack now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that did a lot of damage there. It did. Uh, well, we'll go to main one. I'm going to set a pair and pass it over. OK, nice. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Not looking good. It's not, it's looking, not, looking, not good. looking good. Not looking good. Still a lot of time left, though. OK, do we want to get aggressive here? Trying to attack it. What could this face down be? I think. It's probably a man eater bug, but either way, I mean, if it's a man eater bug, you get me next turn. So let's let's go ahead and attack into your man eater bug that you have set right there. So it's not man eater bug. Hey, hey. It's much worse. It's cyber jar. Oh, I mean, I, <laughs> this, like he has six magic ruler packs. He could pull this. This oh. game is about to get very spicy. Oh, so relinquish goes. Yeah, uh, the Archfiend soldier yeah. also dies. Right. And. I guess I'm first, so uh, I'm going to mill five, and let's see what we get. Oh! Wow! No! Bring them all out. Oh, let's go, boys. No. Let's go. So you got to see the mechanical chaser oh, I pulled out of the tournament well, pack. Well, that 30 packs paid off for you, I guess. Four uh, monsters off Cyber wow. Jar. All right, you're up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I know my okay. Kaiser Those Coliseum. Are some Kaiser Coliseum. Okay, okay, these are some pretty good ones. These are some pretty good ones. Yeah, we got some good cards. We got three different cards. We're gonna special summon Man Eater to defense mode. We're gonna put uh, set set monster. Then we're gonna set witch, and we're gonna set which of the or uh, what's his name, Giant Soldier of Stone. And then you get to add Course of Sanctuary and Kaiser Coliseum to your hand. That's right. That actually turned out fairly well. Cyber Jar is such a fun card. Okay. And it's my battle phase right now, so this is... It is your battle phase, but everything is set, so I don't right. know if you're doing much else. I, I can't do anything this turn. So we're going to go to main two. I think I'm going to activate my Chorus of Sanctuary. Going to wall up with we're the Stone we're, Soldier? We're yeah. Up. Feel free to attack into him. I don't mind. Um, <laughs> He's big. He's 2,500. That's not easy to get over. And then I guess I'm going to activate my Kaiser Coliseum. Okay, I think this is fair, so that way I don't get more monsters. Yeah, we don't want you to have uh, five you. out here. That's a little crazy. Um, sure. I think that's all I'm going to do for this turn, so I'm going to end. This is some of the craziest fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! I've ever played. <laughs> all right, I'll draw. Uh, let's see what we want to do. I kind of want to start slamming here just to get you off monsters, right, so I think right. that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to go to battle. Uh, let's start by hitting your Witch of the Black Forest. Okay, so that's going to go to the graveyard. And I'm going to get you a do search, get a search here, right? Correct. So let's view the deck. Starter deck Pegasus was so good. For it was you. very good. There was a lot of really good cards in there. Um, yeah, let's go with the I'm going to add a 
Hain Hain. Okay. Sure. Uh, yep. Next, I'm going to slam into your man eater bug. I want to get this out of the way now. Right. So you can summon your Jinzo and your summon skull. Um, I'm going to destroy this guy since he has not attacked yet. Sure. Uh, he won't be attacking anyway because I can't kill your stone soldier. So oh, that was, <laughs> I that's think we'll true. leave him down. That's uh, true. I'll set one in second main and pass it over to you. Yeah, definitely should hit that set then. But that's all right. Um, OK, what do, what do we want to do here? You've got time. That Kaiser Coliseum is actually going to buy you Kaiser a pretty Coliseum, good amount of time. Yeah, it's very helpful. I'm going to set this Hain Hain. <laughs> Could be anything. Could be anything. I mean, is it a Hain Hain or is it not? That's the question in my turn. We'll draw. It's a bit scary, though, because your Kaiser Coliseum, like by bouncing, like I can't resummon right. monsters. Re you can't get it back. So I if you yeah. hit my Hain Hain. I can't even place a monster on the field, so I couldn't even set if I wanted to, which is right. uh, not great. Very not annoying, great, for sure. Honest. Okay. Well, let's go to battle. Uh, we'll hit in. Let's see the Hain Hain. Okay, we're going to flip it up. I'm going to bounce that uh, set monster. Okay. Uh, you know it's Dragon Dwelling in the cave, so just right. a 2k defender. Right. Hmm. Um, course of Sanctuary, man. <laughs> I think you got me. I think I'll pass. I can't do anything with Kaiser up, so like go it. ahead. Okay. Main phase one. Let's set another monster. Set one more back row, I think. I think we want to go with that, and then we're going to okay. end. Okay, we'll draw. Uh, let's just go straight to battle. I want to start by seeing what your new set is, so let's hit into that. Sure, uh, send that guy back. <laughs> Great, okay. Fantastic. Uh, I do... Oh, no, we have the same monster count. Now I can't summon! you can't summon! No! Oh, I just Coliseum. got baited. All right, I'll just set one and pass. All right, in then. phase, I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon on that back row. Uh, well, funny enough, it is Horn of the Unicorn, oh! which triggers it. So I'm going to put it back oh, on the okay, top of my. Fine, that's fine. All right, it blanks your draw. I'll take that. So you got baited. So let's A see what you bit, got. But you're going to draw it again. So <laughs> I'm going to draw the same card. Yeah. So maybe it's not fantastic. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. You do now know though that I can out your Stone Soldier. You can out my Stone Soldier if you want to. If you want to get crazy, it's a good game. It's a good game. This is a good start to the series. I'm going to. Ooh, you can out my guy, which is very scary. Mm -hmm. So I need to. But I can't summon anything else. You can't so. summon. It's got to be the mechanical chaser. Um, let's view the graveyard real quick. What, what do we got in here? Okay. Um. Okay. This is, oh, this is this is tough. This is really tough. I think I'm gonna set this card. We're in main one, by the way, and then I'm going to end my turn. Okay, sounds good. I'll draw. Could be anything. Could be anything. Yeah, uh, I I'm, I'm going to try. Uh, I'll Horn of the Unicorn Mechanical Chaser. Okay, you want a Horn of the Unicorn Mechanical Chaser. That is okay. Let's try to hit over the Stone Soldier. I'm going to activate. It's, so, it's still going to wait. Actually, I'm going to activate Wabaku. Great. Okay, and so does this flip up or not? It will flip it will the flip stone up. soldier okay. up, correct. All right, it flips uh, up, this goes to gray, but you can't damage me, so. He's... I can't kill it, correct. Right. Uh, and honestly, that's good enough. I'll pass. Can't do much else under Kaiser. Okay. Will that Waboku be enough? I think it will for now, at least. I'm going to activate Fissure. Great. Fantastic. All right, so okay. Chaser goes, Horn of the Unicorn will, triggers, goes to the top of my deck. back, and... which is actually pretty good in this situation. In this situation, yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to... You can actually maybe close the game out. I could maybe close the game out. Actually, you know what? Now that you say that, I'm going to change this guy to attack mode. Okay, sure. I'm going to get aggressive. But you could be baiting me with those back row. I could but be. But I have not summoned this turn, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go to battle, and I'm going to attack you directly for 13. I will take the 1300. Oh, he's going to take it. Okay, main phase two comes around. I was gonna say, if you double rush recklessly, be my guess. <laughs> that would be that'd be pretty nice. Uh, probably not, since I'm a defensive deck. But <laughs> in my turn, <laughs> all right, we'll draw. Uh, we'll go to main. Could have drawn anything. Yeah, we'll drawn anything. Be, Let's bring out Gaga Gigo. I'm gonna activate adhesion trap hole. Oh, have your shit. attack. Okay, so he goes down to nine twenty five. Nine twenty five. That is right. Fantastic. Uh, thankfully, I have Horn of the Unicorn. You have Horn of the Unicorn. Uh, so we're going to go and hit into Stone Soldier. Okay, that is fine. So you're going to take, he's 1625, so you're going to take 325 damage. 325 damage, got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my god. I Just when agree. I think I'm making progress. Uh, yeah, let me draw fine. two real quick. Okay, that is pretty good. We'll send that to the graveyard. Now I'm, I'm just going to put this here so we remember his attack stat. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I'm going to... I think I'm going to set a monster. Sure. And I'm going to set a card. And I mean, in my turn. Okay, we'll draw. Ooh. Uh oh I don't like the sound of that. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, main one. Wow. Oh, do I go for it? Okay, so 1625 isn't good enough to hit over a 2k defender. And that's the thing I'm concerned with because my life is getting precariously low. Not to mention, of course, of Sanctuary out as right, well. Right, right. So the 2k defenders are even bigger than usual. You know what? I'm 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 down. I'm going to tribute my oh. Gaga Gigo for Jinzo. Oh, man. The boy has emerged. Oh. Uh, this will trigger Horde of the Unicorn to put wow. it on top. So I'm blanking a draw, but wow. Battle Let's phase, see. you will take 100 damage. I, I had a feeling I wasn't going to be able to make it. Luckily, I have one turn, then I will be able to kill it. So go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. Ooh, this is stand by main. Ah, this is tough. Your, your deck's getting pretty low on cards, it's too, by the way. It's very low on cards. <laughs> it's very low. I'm going to... Ooh, this is a tough decision. I'm going to... I guess I'm going to set a monster. Okay. And I'm going to go to end phase in my turn. Okay, we'll draw. Uh, could be anything. Could be anything. Could be. Uh, we'll horn of the unicorn, the Jinzo. Okay, reasonable. Uh, it's not amplifier, but it's good enough. Definitely uh, good. Let's go into battle. I'm just going to hit into what I know is your stone soldier. Okay, I respect it. Just want to clear him out of the way. He Second is, main, I'm going to wall up a little bit myself here and I'll pass. All right, I'm going to start the turn. Okay. Stand by main. Maybe. Actually, I would have had to do that in reverse order with Kaiser Coliseum, but it doesn't change anything. So. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flip up my Hane. Great. Going to bounce Jinzo? Bounce Jinzo, of course. Yes. All right. This is where Horde of the Unicorn gets really bad because like, I just keep drawing this card right. now. But it's it, also a very good card it's with Corsa Sanctuary. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah. I'm going to activate Mass Driver. You're playing Mass Driver? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tribute my Hane Hane. To do 400 damage. I can't believe you're playing Mass Driver. Unreal. <laughs> you want to go again? Uh, then I'm going to go to... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and set a monster. And then I'm going to go to... Let's see. Do I want to do anything else? No, I think I'm just going to end my turn. I might legit die to Mass Driver. <laughs> this is unbelievable okay i gotta bring him back out i don't have a choice gen, here okay yeah yeah horn, horn of the, of the unicorn. unicorn him up this is 31 this should be able to hit anything um yes that is correct so it is going to go to grave wow three stone soldier unreal go ahead buddy <laughs> i'm gonna draw you literally need three monsters to just end this but oh. you only have 10 cards in total so this is gonna be close it's gonna be very close very close all right main phase one Oh my goodness. I'm going to set a card. And I'm going to end my turn. Okay, we'll draw. Uh, we'll go to main. I cannot do anything while you have a monster, thanks to Kaiser Coliseum. So that's actually preventing me from, like, killing you. So let's just hit first. Right. Okay, uh, skilled white magician. He's not terrible. Yeah, he's all uh, right. Second main, I am just going to set a monster, and I will set a back row, and we'll throw it over. Okay. Oh, it might be too late. Oh but... my god, he's got three of them! <laughs> well, I did have TP3 and LOB. That really helped. Yeah, that's fair. That's um, fair. How many did you open? Like seven? Uh, Five or six. Great. Fantastic. Uh, you want to share? You want to share some? I'll take a few. I said that I would maybe sell you one uh, for virtual money. And then oh, perfect. For my hundred grand that I used. All right, what uh, do you got? Okay. Oh, I'm in a very strange position right now. Yeah, you're about to deck yourself out in a few seconds. I'm going to set, <laughs> and I'm going to end my turn. We'll draw. It's weird because it's like you have the mass driver, but if you uh, tribute something, I can get aggressive and kill yeah, exactly. you. Exactly. So, I have to set. So Kaiser Coliseum says I can't place a monster. However, that doesn't stop me from flipping my monsters that are already on the right, field. Right. I believe up. you can do that. So we're going to go in with Jinzo. Right. And we're going to go in with Giant Soldier of Stone for 13. Try to close this out. Okay. 
And second main, I think uh, I'm going to set another monster and I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. <laughs> main phase what's, one. I just want to show buddy. I just want to show you something and you're okay. going to feel my pain right now. OK. <laughs> Fourth from the bottom? Are you kidding me? Can oh. you live for one turn? Oh, okay. I'm gonna set a monster, and I'm gonna end my turn. Can you beat me in one turn? That's the question. If, if you live this turn, then unless you it, can out it, it, if you can out it, yeah, I I need to either out it or kill you. Uh, I'm right. gonna flip dragon dwelling in the cave. Right. Battle hit. Sonic Bird hit. It's so painful. Hit. Oh my goodness. Show me the concede. Yes. <laughs> no, no, okay. You think that's annoying. Look at, look at this. <laughs> Two wave motion on the bottom four. I just needed one. Oh my goodness, Alex. I cannot believe, I cannot believe the unluckiness. Like I'm playing the most horrible degenerate deck, but I deserve that one. That's all I got. Oh, it's degenerate. I don't know how I walked with that I one. I don't Kaiser know how Coliseum. I walked with that. I have wave yeah. motion. I have chorus of sanctuary. I had everything set up, but I couldn't draw the card that actually wins me the game. Unbelievable. Those magicians force packs were oh, so good to you. They were amazing. So good they you. carried everything. They were so good. All right. Well, here's to your wave motions being the bottom cards of your deck again. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you got. Right. You're down one. Can you run it back? All right. I'm going to draw my card. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough to tough to top what I just did. But let's I don't think, I think so. yeah, this should I help. agree. Great. Fantastic. This is where he draws the graceful charity. <laughs> OK, it seems like the universe it's just, it's just giving me a little bit. It's like, OK, we feel for Ruxin right here. Let's give him a wave motion in the first turn. How about that? <laughs> Great. Okay. Eight turn okay. clock. Eight turn clock. Start. Um, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to activate Course of Sanctuary. That is not what I wanted to see. You have like one I'm of gonna this I'm going to set and I'm going to give my turn. <sighs> Fine. Draw. Oh my God. Why did I keep this card in That's my deck? That's what I like to hear. Uh, okay. I'm going to set and pass. Go. Pretty good. I'm going to stand by main. I get a counter. With get your counter. When, it, when is it yep. during the during main phase? Stand, stand by, by phase. phase. Okay. Stand by phase. Yeah. All right. Now that we're in the main phase. I just want to go on record by saying I beat a deck with two wave motion cannon, three okay. pot of grid grace. Did you charity. really beat a deck? Because it wasn't actually played. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm just going to pass actually. I, no, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to pass. Yeah. Go ahead. You are legit just playing bird, which is incredible to me. Uh, main <laughs> one, flip man eater bug, pop this. Oh, that hurts. Okay, well. Okay, I need to be aggressive yeah, here you... because I'm not going to have right. opportunities to get damage okay. in, so we got to hit. So, uh, 23, correct. Second main, I'll set one and throw it over to you, buddy. Okay. Stand by. Second main, counter. Second counter. TikTok. Let's go. Oh, uh, hmm. I've got you on a four turn clock. You've got me in a six yeah, turn gotta, clock. So let's see who's faster. battle here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set a monster in my turn. I hope your hand is just clogged with monsters uh, and that's all you have. <laughs> oh, I don't want I, no, 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 no. Don't please don't say that. Oh, oh, that's that's good, but also not good at the same time because stupid core <laughs> sanctuary. <laughs> that's your summon skull. Um, yeah, put it out there. It's not Summon Skull. Oh, no. But it's Vampire oh, Lord. Oh, you got a Vampire Lord. I got a Vampire. I told you Dark Crisis oh. was very good to me. I was not lying. I don't think I'm going to hit over this, hey, but Alex? we'll see. Uh, yes. How much attack does Vampire Lord have? 2,000. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling. So I take 500 because of the Course of Sanctuary. You know, we had to try. I had nothing else to do anyway. Go All ahead. Right. Huh. Damn Turn by. three. Let's grab this. The fun. The fun part is Vampire Lord's basically unkillable. That is. So. That is the. That this card is extremely good before Invasion of Chaos. It's very good. Yes. Correct. Uh, so happy to have it. Yeah. This one's. This one's not easy. 
I'm just gonna set another monster, and I'm gonna end my turn. I need something. <gasps> no. Oh, that is so oh. good. That is actually just nuts. Oh my god, I gotta think. I'm scared. Oh, that's so good. Um. Okay, I'm gonna run out seven colored that is, fish. That's pretty good. Vampire Lord into the set. Um, that is twenty four hundred defense. Yeah, so I'm gonna take four hundred. Right, what did here. you draw? Okay. You drew something insane. I'm gonna pass. What? Go ahead. Oh, this is weird. I don't know what to. I don't know what to think right now. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry, worry about, about it. Totally, totally fine here. Um, don't forget your counter on wave for, motion. I will definitely not forget my counter in the standby phase, of course. Yep. Um, Sounds good. Okay. I actually have been lowering my own clock since I've been hitting into these defense you monsters, have been, but, but gotta do something. Technically, you haven't lowered it a turn yet because only 900 damage. Um, very close, very though. Close, One more hit, and I. Yeah. I'm going to. Ah, oh, man. This is. This is an interesting hand I got here. Oh, that's in, that's an interesting card. I don't know if that's the play. I don't know if that's the play. I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna see what you got over there. Just gonna pass. You got something huh? scary, which okay. is which is not good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is not good. That is what I like to hear. It's not good. I'm going to pass. What? What are you doing? Oh, yes. Okay. Wave motion cannon on fu fuck. Yeah, that's why you stopped talking that's, immediately. That's okay. pretty good. All right, that should fix your All hand. All right. Did it fix my hand is the question. Let's see. I think, what do I discard here? Okay, we're, we're gonna send this to the graveyard. Um, okay. Oh, you got two cores, course, okay. which is, it's just not good when you have two of them though. Um, let's send, I think that this is not very good right now, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, uh, sure. Then that will go to the graveyard. Okay. You've got a vampire lord. You've got something that's really good in your hand, but you have not played it yet, which is a little concerning. Not. So I think I'm just going to set and end my turn. Okay. I'm going to draw. I'm so close to dying here. Oh, my God. Just pass. It should be fine. I'm s I'm so close to death. This is so bad. Battle. Okay. Hit. All right. Okay. Not happy to see it, but I'm happy that I didn't take right. the damage. Right. It could be a lot so worse. Fine. Um, yeah. What do we want to grab here? Ooh, I think that this is the play. I think we're going to add the hand, a sonic bird. Oh, no. That's very bad. Uh, All right. Uh, I will set a card in second main, and I will set a monster, and I'll pass okay. it to you. Okay, okay. Six turn wave motion. Six turn wave motion cannon. That's pretty scary. Main phase one. I'm going to summon my sonic bird. Sure, get your Black Illusion Ritual for the Relinquish. I'm going to add the Black Illusion Ritual to hand. Sounds good. Then I'm going to activate my Black Illusion Ritual. That is fine. I'm going to send to the graveyard one of my Giant Soldiers of Stone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Special Summon Relinquished. No yep. response. Pretty good. All I'm good. Going to take your vampire lord. This does out it. This is this one of the out only it. outs for this card. All right. Yep. I have your vampire lord. I think I'm going to fire off my wave motion cannon. Gross. So I'm going to take six thousand. I'm going to activate my mass driver. Good game. Good game. Anyone's yeah. game. <laughs> good game. Redemption. Wave motion cannon into fucking mass driver. Yep. I mean, that's about how I expected that game to go. But what a way to start episode one, right? This is insane. If every episode is going to be like this, I'm excited. This is, however, the first game I get to go first. So maybe that will be a difference maker. I uh, think that definitely makes a difference. Uh, looking at this hand, maybe not. Good luck, buddy. I'll set a pair and pass. Go ahead. I'd love to hear that. OK, main one. I'm going to set two. And I'm going to end my turn. Shocker. I'll draw. Ooh, okay. Hmm. 
What are you leading with here? It's a great question. You've got Man Eater Bug. I think you have multiple Hane Hane. You've got a bunch of 2K defenders. You also have a bunch of stuff that just doesn't do anything. Wow. Um. All right, let's run out seven colored fish. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's hit him. Uh, I'll take 200. Okay. Just wanted to see, you know, sniff yeah. everything out first. I'll set yeah. one and pass. Go ahead. Yeah, there's no wave motion this time, so you're good. Okay, interesting. Yet. <laughs> Yet, that is the key. All right, let's go to main one. I'll activate Kaiser Coliseum. Gross, sure. Um, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to, you probably have like a man eater set or something. Definitely pretty good. Uh, take a lot of damage. You have a man eater. You know what? Let's go. We'll draw. Uh, go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. hmm interesting. Let's go to main one. I'm going to... I'm just going to let you go. Oh, this is fun. We're going to have this a, game. This is oh, fun. This is great. I'm loving this. This, this is fun. This is fun. Ah, how beautiful. Oh, come Forest on. of Sanctuary. <laughs> yep. Ah, I love that card. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to set a monster and I will end my turn. Okay. We'll draw. Ooh. Uh, well, that's neat. I don't know how good it is, though. I'm going to tribute my stone soldier for a summon skull. That's a good card. It was nice before you had fucking chorus of sanctuary. I'll hit. <laughs> it was nice. I am going to flip up my 2500 defender. OK, so they bounce off each other. Go ahead. OK, hmm. You have a pretty dangerous board if you can out these somehow. If I can, I, I you did get LOB packs. We have not seen Raigeki yet. We saw most of your deck. I'm going to guess you don't have it, but you do have Dark Hole, I believe, from Yugi, but you would have to get rid of your Summon Skull. So, OK, so I feel pretty good right here. I'm just going to okay. end. Sure, we'll draw. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and fire off. It's not the most ideal one, but I'm going to fire off Stim Pack, targeting Ooh. my Summon Skull. Oh, that's a good card. Yeah. So this makes him swole up to 3,200, but he will lose attack power every turn. That's true. He's so there, there is a downside here. Right. OK, so we'll go to battle. OK, uh, let's take out Stone Soldier. All right, that's fine. All right. And then we'll just go to end phase. Go ahead. OK. Oh, 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 <laughs> All right, let's go to main one. I don't like that. I don't like that laugh. I'm going to normal summon my Sonic Bird. Oh, not this again. Yeah. I'm going to grab a Black Legion Ritual. Go ahead. Fire it off. I will activate Black Legion Ritual. Let's see if okay. you have anything to stop it. You're good. OK, I'm going to go ahead and tribute the Sonic Bird. OK. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to tribute the, the spirit. I'm going to send okay. that into the grave. Sure. And I'm going to special summon my relinquish and target your guy. Yeah, I figured. All right. OK, it's a big relinquish. So you've got two back row and you've got an 18. I've got I've got 39 on the board. That's pretty good for my strategy. Yep. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get really aggressive here. I'm going to activate Fissure. Wow, he's just going in. OK, sure. And then I'm going to go to battle phase. I'm going to attack you with the Sonic Bird first. I'll take the 39. I'll just skip. The OK, you take it all. OK, I'll take it all. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go to main two and interesting. Uh, then I'm going to end my turn. Yeah. All right. This is going to be a problem. Uh, we'll draw. <laughs> <laughs> Relinquish is pretty good. That's yeah. Of Relinquish is pretty damn good. Um, I, I, I was like, I'm playing him. It doesn't matter. OK, I do have a move, so I'm going to try for it. I'm going to change of heart. You're relinquished. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, I uh, don't have a response. Take it. All right, so we'll take him. It's not bad. And then I'm going to run out an Archfiend Soldier. OK, you can't tribute him. That would have been pretty good. Uh, you're running yeah. out an Archfiend Soldier. Oh, actually, um, I would have had to do this in reverse order because of Kaiser. So let me normal the Archfiend Soldier first and then right, go for okay. Relinquish. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Um, so that's all fine, yes? 
Uh, that is, let me see, what damage are we on? We've got 20, 39 on the board. That's 2,500. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're going to go to battle. Okay. I'm going to hit with Relinquished into your Sonic Bird. Okay. On attack declaration. Ooh. This is where things get gross. Ooh. I activate Robin Goblin. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I almost played this. Yeah. So you're going to take 1,100 from this attack here. I'm about to lose two cards, which is not good. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. This could be the break that I need. So we're going to rip this one out of your hand. Oh, that's pretty bad. What is it? What is it? Oh, wow. Oh, I've big been hit, holding big that hit. since turn one. Okay, 19 to the face. We're going to hit another card. We'll hit this okay. one. I mean, that's that's not bad. Master, you know what? I feel good knowing I won't lose to that again. Uh, right, so second right. main, I don't think I have much else going on. So I think in the end phase, I will just return your relinquished and pass it over. Okay, that was a really good turn. That hurt a lot. But uh, I hate to say it's not going to help you too much. We got oh, a oh, just when I thought I made progress. <laughs> Damn oh, it. Oh, and that might be the end of the game. Do you have a response? Oh, come on. <laughs> Pot of green, change your heart. Starter deck Pegasus for the win, baby. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Yeah. And just, to, just for a good measure, we're going to get more damage out there. We're going to go to battle. Start off sure. with the relinquish. So this is 25. Yeah, you got it. Actually, okay. So you know what's very funny? If you did not, 25 plus 19 uh, is what? 40, 44? 44, right. If you did not summon this fucking Aquamador, I could have Mask of Weakness yes, one of your guys and that's lived. That's why you always be sure right oh, there. Oh my god. I could have had Torrential Load, to be fair. That could have punished you. Damn. Yeah, I, I was wow. like, nah, not on packs. That's crazy. You want to know why? You are the first person out of all the different series that I've done to win episode one of any series. Usually Guys. I win every, every episode one. You have <laughs> broken the streak. So congratulations, buddy. You got it. Wow. I don't even know how to duel, according to a lot of people. So that's <laughs> a good start for me. That's a good yeah. start. I mean, if you count just, this as dueling, I don't really know if it does. You know but... what this is? This is two guys having a good old fucking time playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is what this is. This uh, is guys being guys. What that mean is? <laughs> this is so much fun. Like, this was such an experience from the auctioning part to the whole strategy behind that, just to ripping open the packs and then getting to play like caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my god, this my hand was just loaded with a bunch of monsters. Monsters that weren't doing oh. Kaiser Coliseum did so much work for I you. I literally because had the perfect strategy against yeah. you. Like it worked out perfectly because my opening, it my only option was to play this. Basically, everything else was just like good stuff, but I didn't really have good stuff. Like right. I had the change of heart and the monster reborn and the relinquish. So it would have been like relinquish beat, but that would have been it. So I was like, this is by far my best option. And the magicians force packs we mentioned. They made a massive difference because they were so much newer. There were so many good cards in them. Yeah. It, and even my my backup strategy on the sideboard was to get aggressive. I had three 1800 beaters. All of them were from MFC. Oh so my like, God. Like everything that I was playing, like I even had rivalry of the warlords. I had like all kinds of stuff, but like all the kinds of stuff that came from the Star Deck Pegasus and MFC was like my whole deck, basically. Right. Yeah. Well, Star Deck Pegasus definitely lends itself more to control, I feel anyway. So I think it right. makes sense that you went that route. I even went so deep to actually side deck Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu to search the equip spell so I could actually have something that killed your stuff faster. That, and that's... I even side decked in Ryukushin Clown, which changes the battle positions of your <laughs> I had to find anything that was was going to stop me from losing to this and unfortunately i also got the white hole and oh! didn't get to white hole honestly I, if i resolved white hole i didn't care if i lost that was yeah. going to be just game winning by itself I, but I, yeah this was in tp3 as well as a uh, like a rare or something so uh -huh. i was like if i get this like it would be hilarious to activate it because we both had a dark hole at yeah, least one yeah but it's just so bad if you don't get the dark hole. <laughs> it's awful it's yeah. terrible but it's it's perfect meme material and that's what matters and that is very important for this series since we're yeah, starting my, off with wave motion cannon 
<laughs> my plan was just to go just as aggro as possible. Dark Crisis, like I said, was very good to me. I got a play set of Gaga Gigo and two Archfiend soldiers. So yeah, those just outclass. They were massive compared to some of the other cards. So like at first I saw Mechanical Chaser and I was excited, but then I opened yeah. Dark Crisis and I'm like, wow, this like did not even matter in the slightest. I mean, I'll take right. another 1850 beater, but I even had Dark Elf. I was playing Jurai Gumo before I realized you were on burn. I'm like, oh, this is a terrible idea. Let's not do this. Um, yeah, and you know, Jinzo was nice and all, but it, against burn with I, wave motion specifically, yeah, what can you do? It, in my deck, I was talking about Jinzo and Summon Skull cannot beat over my 2000s with the chorus. Yep. And since I had two, yep. I was like, it's going to be really tough for him to get over my seven 2000 defenders I had. Yeah. Because I think two of them came and started at Pegasus. So I only had to pull like five or four. Right. Or whatever it is. And I pulled two Spirit of the Harps in the five TP3 packs. So I already had two of those. So I was able to pull like just a few out of LOB and it worked out really well. You said you were going to tell me about your hand last last game. oh so so i had a change of heart so i was looking oh. for an opportunity to be able to change of heart one of your defenders and swing with everything i was hoping right. you were going to get cocky and maybe set like a hane hane or a man eater bug and then i could take control of it flip it to bounce one of right. your things and then one of my big guys could hit over and then i could go for game but you never you never went for it so i was thinking okay maybe with change of heart i can buy a little bit of time because i'm not dead to wave motion yet and then I just wouldn't draw anything that to combo with it just to finish you off. So, you know, good games, buddy. I this was this was a blast, and I am so excited for next time because, like, if this was episode one, what the hell is episode two gonna oh look like? Oh my goodness, that was it was extremely fun. Like, it was even more fun than I thought when you first brought it to me. I was like, yeah, this sounds like a blast. The auction part was like that was is so much fun that was my like, favorite part i think just to, I, it adds it a whole nother element of strategy and like psychological warfare oh to my it goodness. all right there's so much strategy in this series like it yeah. is but not even the dueling part like the action part is just nuts like you gotta think okay i have this much money i've only gotten two i've won two different things and they were five packs of three card packs or whatever it, yeah that was awesome yeah, this was great. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for the very first episode of this brand new series Ruxin and I have decided to try out. We really hope you guys enjoyed because we had a blast making this. This was a ton of fun to record, but we have to shout the patrons as always, and I'm going to be gunning for him to win the next episode. So big shouts to shout 1317, Moto, Sean Oling, Junior, Cameron Smith, Angeoko, Tim Zero, Zero, X3, Ike, Iron Fake, Pony, Starkey, and Musa, Michael Dente, Part 2, Dan the Man, Hoban, Sinker Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Straight Conic, Rock Slide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Elson, Colt T, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Kelvin, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, Tuner, Gazm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Lumpy, Nehru, Celeste, David Liu, Rockley325, Yusuf Asin05, Lane Rogers, Chat God, Sao, Age216, I side in Grand Maju and Sao, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Two Based, Apathy Astro, Brody Eastwood, Dacer, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Reuter, Give Me Death, MBT's Hard Like, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, Edison Format, and Tom Russell. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.